you know, both of those decks, both Affinity and uh, Splinter Twin, I feel like have solid matchups against Elves from what I've seen. But I also don't want to underestimate anything after watching this Elves second action, because I thought Ad Nauseam was going to be very solid there, and it was anything but. I know that one of your favorite things is jumping into a beatdown. We might be watching that right now. You take a look at Wagner's board of Turper Orb, Arcbound Ravager, Signal Pest, Spell Skite, a couple of lands, Mox Opal, and it looks like Cranial Plating too, though an Ancient Grudge is being cast right now. So might want to hold the phone here just a moment. Right. I mean, you got to get the Spell Skite off the table, and you got to get the Torpor Orb off the table to be able to combo out. And for what it's worth, C's life total is actually quite high. Yep. I expected it to be lower, given things. There's a stomping ground that's going to enter the battlefield untapped, so it's not quite over just yet. Looks like Turp Orb is going to bite the dust. Wagner has drawn his hate cards, that's for sure. Here comes Signal Pest. There are some artifacts on the battlefield here. Pass the turn back. How good is Wesley C's hand? That's the question. Picked up a copy of Lightning Bolt. I see at least one Deceiver Exarch over there. He's got some fight left in him, that's for sure, though he is at nine. This appears to be a copy of Spellskite. Wagner untapping. Take a draw. Didn't get a great look at it. It's another copy of Signal Pest. Just trying to add the artifact count. Yep. Remember, there is an interaction that does come up with Spellskite, Spell Spellskite, excuse me, an Arcbound Ravager. You, you can redirect the modular from Arcbound Ravager over to Spellskite. Now, modular is this weird thing where it says, you know, yes or no. So if you redirect to the Spellskite, you can just say, no, I'm not going to use it. Right. But you can change the target of the modular. Here's the attack, a 1-1 one, one Ravager and a pretty big signal pass that can't be blocked. Bunch of damage is coming through. Looks like six. Maybe not. How about a lightning bolt? Ravager's going to eat that signal pass. It'll get a little bit bigger. Maybe a little more eating to be done here. Uh, potentially. A little surprised that not being the case. Maybe want to work your way through that annoying spell skite. It seems like you're likely to want to pump up the Ravager anyway. Looks like that's a, a copy of Vault Scourge, promo edition. Play and equip, pass the turn back. See, we'll draw a card. Steam vents. But between Spellskite and assuming that Wesley has a combo piece, Again, assuming he has line number four and Splinter Twin, I think he's got the pieces he needs to get through this. I think he does, too. He'll pass the turn back. Because Andrew's modular tricks are shut off for the reason that you mentioned. And I'm not sure. There is an Ink Moth Nexus down there, but I'm not sure if there's any way to deal 10 Infect this turn. It doesn't look to be the case. Here's the Seaver XR. We'll see what that's tapping. Or untapping. It's going to tap down the Vault Scourge. Here come the beatdowns. Spell Scott will jump in front of the Ravager. Time to move the plating over to the Signal Pest. Looks like it's a hit for six. You can activate the Ink Moth Nexus and make it seven. Oh, we're tapped out here. If Wesley is tapped out in this spot, it means that he would have to pay two life for the redirection. Now, now Arcbound Ravager and Cranial Plating have this sort of weird tension with one another. They do. You see the math that's being done. Right now, if you just simply count Ink Moth Nexus as an artifact, yep. that's the easiest thing to do. There are seven artifacts on the battlefield. Signal Pass is not going to pump itself. 
because it does not pump itself in battle cry. So seven, and then if you sacrifice the Ravager, you're down to six artifacts, but then you get the two counters up to eight artifacts. Eight is not nine. Right. And the two points there from the Ravager can be redirected. It's the same as paying for it. That's so a splinter twin. I think twin. Andrew's one point short. Yep, and that is going to do it. Wesley C is going to win this match here over Andrew Wagner. Two games to one. Blue Red Twin is moving on to the finals to play against Elves. I think on that turn previous that Andrew needed to make that Ravager large enough to trade with the Spell Sky. Or I'm sorry, so to, to force the, the Spell Sky into a chump block there uh, rather than being able to stay alive. Because if Wesley has.